hi guys how are you doing so today i will show you how you can easily test your app for push notification and if you have directly come to uh, my this video then make sure you check my previous video where i have shown how to develop app with push notification feature using react native and firebase so we will just do the demo of that uh, app here and we will use postman extension that is a free extension for sending http re requests and we will see how you can we can use that free extension to test our push notification feature on our mobile app so let's start so first thing we need to do is to install the postman extension of google chrome So once you search for postman extension, I think the first thing that you will get is the link for the postman and we will do it add to chrome. So it is, it won't take much time, it will quickly install. and while it's installing i would just like to tell you that please subscribe to my channel guys because i keep posting very useful and very important exciting videos for you to develop apps and also the uh, very uh, good videos for utilities i mean if you are using macbook or iphone then you will find it useful so please do subscribe to my channel so here is our postman extension installed so we need to click it to start the extension and it's looking very fascinating okay so now we need to log in we will log in i will log in with my google account okay Okay, so now I'm logged in to Postman and if you are new user, you have to register first, but I think if you log in with Google, then you can just use your Google ID. So we are ready. So we need to open a tab. There is a new tab and the things that we need to do is that first thing you need is the URL to send the notification so the URL will remain same no matter what your app is and how you have built it so this is the URL to send push notification sorry it didn't got copied this is fcm google apis.com fcm send okay next thing we need to add the headers so our headers will be first we have to add the authorization header okay let's let let's first add the content type header because we don't need any thing to any extra thing for this i mean everything is available here so we can easily copy it and your content type value should be application json okay these things will remain constant no matter what your app is and then we need this authorization header
and here the change will be there like we need this specific key I will show you how you can find key for your app you need to log into your Firebase Google console you need to click on your app and you need to go to project settings and then you need to go to Google messaging and here you have your server key so this is basically the server key that we will add here I have seen this server key I have added here see this server key I have added here and make sure you don't add any semicolon here it should be like this because in many tutorials and many screencasts I have seen that uh, developers have shown to add double quote but if you add double quote it won't work so we don't need any double quote and this need to be like direct key equals to and the server key and then we need to add the body Sorry, it's not showing the body. Okay, we need to select post here. That's why it was not showing body. So make sure here you have selected post. Then we need to go to body and we need to select raw. Okay and our body should be exactly like this this should be our body sorry we are missing something This is not the correct one. And this is also not the correct one. This is also not the correct one. Yeah, this is the correct one. So our body should be exactly like this. Okay. So and you need to make sure that you have selected here JSON application JSON. Okay. And this should be raw. So your body includes two and it is basically a JSON a JSON data and uh, in a string two and for that there is a key in string format and there is a value. I will show you from where you can get this. This is basically the token that you get for uh, from the I have shown this in my previous tutorial how you can get the token okay and this is a specific token for the app uh, for whenever you run my app in the previous tutorial you will get this token so from from that token you need to paste here and content available will always be true notification title you can give any title like I have given hello and you can select any body like you and any data so this body structure you need okay this header should be there and this URL should be there and the HTTP type should be post and we are ready and now I will show you that it will get me push notification
so here is my app okay running and I will just see if the yes, this is my app that will receive push notification so I'm just closing this and once I click on send see I got this push notification again if I send then we will get this we should get this see we are getting that push notification so our push notification feature is very much working awesome it's working in an awesome way so my mobile uh, got logged but the push notification is here so it's working perfectly I'm sure uh, you would have enjoyed this video and this will be very useful for you to uh, test my apps and if you and make sure you check the previous uh, 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 tutorials to know how like you can build an app using react native and firebase and implement the push notification in it so thank you guys so much make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'm sure that you will subscribe and if you have any uh, doubts make sure you uh, uh, write that in the comment box and i will be glad to help you with the issues if you face any okay so thank you